Connecting boards inside of monday.com may seem really confusing, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. By the end of this video, I guarantee you'll be a connections expert. So I'm gonna waste no more time, head straight over to monday.com. As you can see, I'm in an example monday.com system, but I have two boards here. I have a start from scratch board and I have an example board. I would like to connect these two to one another so I can see and connect records from my start from scratch board to my example board and vice versa. Really, really simple how we do this. We need to firstly go to whichever board you'd like and create a new column. So press the plus button on the far right hand side of your columns. This will allow us to create a new column. Now you're going to be presented with an array of options here. We're looking for the connect boards column. If you cannot see it, just press more columns and search connect boards and press add to board. Now we're almost there. We then need to select the board we would like to connect to. So in this instance, I'm going to press select board and I'm going to choose my example board. Now, this is really important to mention this little button down here that everyone seems to miss. Create a two way connection. So if I do not select this, it's going to create a connection from start from scratch to example board. However, you will not be able to see from the example board any connections and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now by pressing connect boards it's going to quickly prompt me to create a mirror column which I will come on to in a moment's time now I'm going to go ahead and connect my example for YouTube record to the Nick Baldwin record I'm then going to head over to my example board as you can see I've got my record example for YouTube but I cannot see my start from scratch connection the Nick Baldwin connection how do, you, how do you prevent this issue from happening? You just need to make sure that you've pressed create two-way connection. The problem with this is you cannot backdate, you cannot reverse engineer this. Once you've created a connect boards column, you cannot create a two-way connection. It's a nightmare. So you'd have to create a new column. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this, press delete, and I'm gonna go ahead and walk through it again. We're gonna connect boards, and then we're gonna select the board that we would like to connect to in this instance it's the example board and then just make sure you press create a two-way connection select that option press connect boards i'm going to come on to mirrors in a moment press i'll do that later and then i can see same records again same thing applies i'm going to go ahead and select example for youtube head back over to my example board and as you can see this has populated and it is automatically connected so now i can see my start from scratch Nick Baldwin record from my example board. And this is what a lot of people seem to miss. So hopefully you don't miss this. You might want to rename the column. Um, and now I'm going to come on to mirrors. So we've connected one board to another and this principle applies for every single board. You can also have multiple connections per board if you would like to. And now we want to mirror information. So that means that I want to see informa information from the start from scratch board on my example board. In order to do that, all we need to do is press the plus button and we need to either search for mirror or press more columns and go mirror, press add to board. And now we need to connect our mirror column to our connection column. I know this sounds confusing, but it's so simple. Press connect. And the only one we've got is start from scratch because we just created that. And then we just need to tell monday.com which column we would like to mirror over. So in this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and select the status and select all labels. Now, if I then go back to the start from scratch board, as I will do here, change this status to example one and then head back over to my example board, you can see that the mirror automatically reflects and you can have as many mirror columns as you like, but it just means managing information in monday.com is so much easier when everything is connected, especially when you've got the two-way connection set up. That's where everyone seems to go wrong. And you can do the same on the other side as well. So I can have a mirror column for the example board. So if there's some data that I wanna see on the example board, again, same principle applies, mirror column, connect, select which, column you'd like to connect to so i'm going to select abc which is the name of the status column and you can see it's working on it at the moment i'll just change that to test go back and you can see that automatically updates this can get as extensive as you like hopefully this video has explained exactly how to do connection columns and mirror columns inside of monday.com by the way if you need any help setting up your monday.com system check out the link below we'd be delighted to help now thank you for watching and goodbye